What have you got? I've got two victims in Brentwood. Brentwood? Nobody gets killed in Brentwood. All right. You're going to say this case is all about race? Yes, because it is. That from the new FX miniseries called The People vs. O.J. Simpson. Now, even though the case 20 years old, it still has a huge lasting legacy, made a lot of people famous, brought a whole lot of attention to whether cameras ought to be in the courtroom, among other issues. And, and Amy, let me start with that. Um, in the aftermath, about whether or not, forget whether justice was served or it wasn't, I won't get into that debate, but how cases were covered, and specifically cameras in the courtroom. I, every time I talk about what well, we should or not, in the first two sentences, somebody will say, was, look what OJ did, talk about uh, perverting justice. Do you think that case has made it more difficult for cameras to be in the courtroom? I think it's made it easier. And to your point, look at Nancy Grace as the perfect yes. example, right? But the chief judge of New York has been trying for a long time to get cameras into the courtroom. Um, right now, the policy is that each judge decides whether they want to allow it, so it's left up to discretion. But my opinion is, listen, if I can go into a courtroom and see a trial, I should be able to watch it on my couch, sitting at home on television, uh, s sitting at home and watch it on television, because I think it's in the public interest to see it. I mean, when a criminal case in particular is brought, it's brought by the state in the interest of the people of that state. You know, Maya, I don't remember a trial that made more personalities out of more people. I mean, how many people, uh, you say, uh, who is the judge? Uh, the vast majority will say Ito within two seconds, right? A lot of that was people mugging for the cameras. A lot of that was people that couldn't manage to get out of the way. I still laugh that Mark Furman is a justice analyst for Fox right now after all the stuff that we learned about him both during the trial and after, be that as it may. Is, was that one of the dangers that came out of this was that the cameras, not just in the courtroom, but outside, the need to be personalities in some cases trumped the facts of the case. It, it ceased to be a case and it became an industry. And what happened is we're still watching people like uh, Marsha Clark. You'll still turn on Greta Van Susteren and she has a TV show that didn't exist prior to this case. Um, it, it, was, uh, it gave people the incentive uh, to make the case about themselves. And what was lost there was the fact that somebody got killed because it didn't become about Nicole Simpson anymore. What's lost there was that the evidence in the case had been tampered with because it was no longer about that. It was polarizing the country, take a side, largely on racial grounds, without mm -hmm. any information in the case itself. And as we were talking before, look, I've tried cases that are, that are two dual jury homicide case, where you have four co-defendants and we're trying the first of the two trials didn't take us that long to try that case. We had all the DNA evidence and some. So when you look at the boxes and boxes of evidence, so you try a federal case with 150 boxes of evidence and it doesn't take you that long to try that case. It was a fairly straightforward case that they, they basically manipulated into mm. an industry. But, but well, Mayo, look at Making I, a Murderer on Netflix. Absolutely. If cameras were not in that courtroom, we would not have seen any of that. But you know, one check. of the things though, Jimmy, that came out to the regular person was, regardless how you felt about OJ, and everybody had a passionate view about what he did, or some people say didn't do. Um, we all said, I'd like to have Johnny Cochran if I ever get in trouble. You clearly saw, I think a lot of people who may have been on the periphery of, of watching this stuff, everybody understood the difference that money will get you. The quality of attorney from Marcia Clark to Darden versus Cochran and the others, it was night and day. Um, uh, you didn't even have to go to law school to know who was making egregious errors and which ones were running circles around him. Money and justice certainly came out loud and clear as much as black and white did in this thing. There's no question about it, and we, we've, we've talked about it on this show, and it is one of the problems that, that exists in our system. Uh, it costs a lot of money to get somebody with the level of experience that you had in that case. You know, to be able to put a team together of people who are the highest priced and most talented lawyers in the country. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but but just on the issue of the cameras, you know, I, I have to say that the problem is, is that the only time you're ever going to have the press or the media going in to put cameras in a courtroom is when it's, you know, a case like this. And that is when it becomes right. a spectacle. You know, Amy, I'd love to see random trials. Show people what it's really like in there. 
when people aren't playing to the media, where it's not a press case. You know, every oh, month. Oh, but even the Silver and Skeletal trial, I would have liked to have seen cameras in there the whole time, and that you would wasn't never get sensational that. with the never, violence. Yeah. And, but I will tell you this: you will never, ever, ever have the type of permissive atmosphere in a federal courtroom than you had mm. in that state. I agree with you. you. It should be like C-SPAN. That's right. It really should because, uh, you know, l like I said, making a murderer is the perfect example. And in that case, he had high-powered attorneys. He yep. had excellent attorneys. But even when you do that, as soon as you put the camera on that case, then you alter the case because the jurors are going to be aware of it. Every party there is aware the camera's But the jurors see the, the jurors publicity We shall keep this debate right. going in the break. When we come back, though, got news on the Cosby trial. We'll have the latest on that after this.